Hi, this is Tweek. The clearance aisle in my local craft store had a wooden box that I found for a couple dollars. It's hollow. It's just the right size. And I thought if I added some frames to the side and maybe a twirly on the bottom, I'd have my own photo cube. I think I'll do that. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are a 1 4th inch piece of craft pine, a 1 inch piece of pine trim, half inch pin nails, wood glue, hot glue, some wood filler, four mini photo frames, a 5x5 five five MDF cube, white paint and a brush, and assorted jewelry. So let's start building. This project began as I was going down the clearance aisle of my craft store and I found that wooden block. This too was a clearance item and it is a photo block and it's damaged. So I thought, hmm, get this as the inspiration, take that block, add some photo frames that I found, inexpensive materials and then it all has to be put together. So we used other pieces of wood to augment it. We've got a little bit of pine for the base We've got a few pieces of trim to decorate it more. And what we had to do first was to take the box, which was made of MDF, and to slice off the top. Next, to make the base, we trim the quarter inch craft pine. Using a piece of scrap wood, we cut the pieces needed to make the base. Time to router the edges for the base piece. Using our miter box, we cut the trim pieces to size. Time for some glue and some pin nails. Now we're gluing the frame onto the base. Now we glue the cube to the base. Next, we cut a piece to replace the backing on the frames. Using the router, we cut a groove into the top of each frame. Time for assembly. We're going to take the pieces we just cut and attach them to the cube. A dot of hot glue helps to hold the piece in place while the wood glue adheres. Next, we attach each frame to its backing.
Now the swivel gets attached. Using white paint, we give the caddy two coats. Another two coats go on the inside of the cube. And here is our photo caddy. To this point it is all put together. It needs some decorating. It's got a little swivel that we scavenged from another piece and it is ready to decorate. I, I love it, and I had a little bit of trouble deciding how to decorate it. This will go in my office, so I'll be the one looking at it, so I'm gonna stick with what I like, which is bling. So I'm gonna put this aside for a second, and I can kind of use this one here as, as a guide, because it is the same frame, these little mini frames that were put on the side of our caddy. So I can get an idea of what I've got here and how I can alter these pieces to fit the frame. I like that, which means take off. I've got my pliers here. Don't wince because people, it's, I do this all the time. I take things apart and put them back together into something else. All old jewelry, some of it's mine, some of it came in rummage sales. And look at, so I've got this little piece I would like to put there. I'm still thinking stay at the top of the frame. When I spin, I'm gonna get some, some real pretty reflections. Okay, I add another piece here. I thought this was interesting because it's an old necklace that had a V center. And I thought that would be interesting just to come down each side, not the whole picture frame, but just the side. If that's the case, which I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna pull off one here. get to the metals and I'm pretty sure this is costume jewelry it just comes off too easily and too too well just wiggle it back and forth and the whatever metal this is just snaps so this one side is going to have these guys and I'm just going to come down to here and stop right there I had some real fun going through my piles of old jewelries and findings and earrings and it's uh, my liking of bling that sends me down this direction because it's beautiful caddy just as it is without me adding any to it but there's another so that's another option okay here we go on this one I like this the best and I thought about going all the way around the frame but I think that's just too much so we got one two three four Five, six. I thought six keep the design right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna wiggle off right there. I'm just wiggling back and forth. I'm not cutting. And eventually, what is ever there? Looks like there's a little. There it, there it goes. There's a little hook there. And so once you get it, and just six of them, it looks more proportionate to the frame, and I, I like that a little better. So let's take this off too. This is all in how you like it. You could get uh, gemstones, you could get any kind of bead and go around. You could get some lace or some ribbon. I choose to go with bling today. And so I'm just going to tack. There's one set I have a like on this one. I think I want some on the bottom too. Let's see if we think we like that. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. They remind me of bees, but I think they're, I think they're um, flowers. 
So there is a little hook down here. It's doing all that wiggling. That was easier. So far, I think that's what I'm going to do. And now here we go. Do I want to come up each side as well? I think that's even prettier. I, you know what? I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, I think, on this side. Yep, that's five. I have enough here that I can do the whole frame. This was a, a long necklace. Costume jewelry. Don't throw it out because you can always make use of it. You can wear it again, but I haven't been any place this fancy to wear this stuff, kind of stuff. Okay, there's one. Oh yeah, see, now that's going to look nice. And you really don't know until you start putzing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have five left over. They don't have to be matchy-matchy either. I saw a photo frame that was decorated with all different kinds of materials, and it was really pretty. It was surprising, all the materials they used, but I appreciated that. That one, or this one, I think has a better, uh, better connection on there. So that would be another one. Okay. One, two, three. We have one more option to go. And that would be... I was thinking it would be pretty just to have old earrings up in the corners. And I know that they're odd looking from each other. I thought it might be pretty. Let's see if we can do here. Maybe opposite corners. You just get just a little hint of the... Uh, these are cool because there's movement. Like when I actually turn the caddy, these would move. But I am not sure. I don't really know. I don't think I'm going to do that. Here's another piece. So if I made them all random, that would be kind of pretty. Two, three, there must be a match to that one, or if there isn't. And see, this is all you do. You putz and you play. What if it had a different one in each corner? Are those two match? Here's another one. This one has a little bit of sparkly. this up in that corner so it dangles a little bit. So this one might be a little more random. We'll set these aside as, as a possibly, probably fourth side. So here we go. I'm going to come back over to my photo caddy and actually decorate it. Come here caddy. All right so I'm going to put this on the side so I can see it a little better. And let's go with the first which is simply to tack it on. Like I said this is just hot glue this is MDF frame, so if you want to change it, it'll pop right off. Until then, it does stick, it does stay. So all I'm gonna do is, before I put that glue down, make sure I measure. I don't want it to come right to the edge. I want it to basically hug this inside of the frame. So we're doing it. A little bit of glue there. Each picture will have its own little bit of bling better. 
let's start adding some pictures. I have some pictures from when I was a little kid. Now, I took these little mini frames apart. This one had a mat, which I discarded. And I used this little piece to help me. There's uh, glass that came with it too, to help me get the picture the right size to fit in here. So let's put that one in there. <laughs> See, the black and white really looks nice. Oh, here's Grandma. Now, Grandma, where did I say you wanted to be? Did I want you here? I wanted you over here. Get down in there. There she goes. Okay. Pull her down a bit. And then we have here oh, a picture of our of our old house. A picture of the house I grew up in. And I'll give it a lot of bling because I have good memories of that place. And the final one. Oh, the final one's in color. <laughs> and that would be me and my my baby kids. And I'm thinking as I go along, Grandma needs just a little more bling. I, I would like to put something to offset in that little piece I just took off. I thought, wouldn't that be just a pretty offset to the rest of the bling? So I am going to do that. Use this old discarded, I have no idea where the rest of it is earring. And I place it right there. Looks like a little firework. And Grandma gets a little more. One more thing to do before I forget. This will be a photo caddy that I actually use. So I'm going to take this piece of thick felt. It's uh, it's called Protector X Protector, and it's um, it's got stickum on it. So I'm going to place it down in there. So when I throw in something into this caddy, it doesn't clink. It clunks. This makes a little softer landing for whatever gets thrown in there. You cut it to the size we need it, I'm dropping it in, pressing it down. There's my first thing. It doesn't seem regal enough, but there is my caddy. I like it. And there you have it. This project started with me getting a notion that you could take a box and add some things to it and turn it into a lovely keepsake. I am going to really make use of this and it's going to make me smile every time I look at it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell, please, so that you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, go down the craft aisle, get some ideas, and implement them. You'll end up with something quite remarkable. See you again.